Lovely. I like this one. It's nice. Oh! What is that? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Auntie and today's video. Ah, I'm actually really excited about this one because I've heard a lot of things on the grapevine and yeah, I've heard that the collection is crazy. So today I'm going to be reacting to Victor and Rolf's Hulk Chill Autumn Winter 20 collection. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. Please also leave a comment. I really want to get chatting to you guys and build a community of fashion lovers where we all can get together and just have a bit of a chat really. So without further ado, let's get started and watch the Victor and Rolf Autumn Winter 20 collection. Change. Change. Victor and Rolf Haute Couture Autumn Winter 2020. Three wardrobes for three mindsets in these extraordinary okay. times of change. I'm sorry, but what is this voiceover? This voiceover is ridiculous. I don't, I don't quite get it. I've never seen a collection reveal where someone is having a voiceover like this. And the voice sounds weird as well, but anyway. Here is the first of three outfits that together embody a rather somber mood. A feeling of sadness and anger familiar to many these days. This at-home chemise, or should I say nightgown, is in dark blue man-made satin. The Empire line and oh, yeah, this dress No, the I'm bust, not keen. Giving way to a flowing hemline. Note the intricate lace. I mean, it's a bit basic for Hulk Couture. I mean, motif, a fitting symbol it's just like of the a simple dress the these days. with some rain clouds on it. The next look of this first capsule appears. Meant to be worn inside the home only, one can detect a hint of the masculine dressing gown influence. Okay, I really like this. Can you imagine me walking downstairs, answering the door to the DHL guy in this? Nice. And a collar in quilted satin. Ooh, Edged yeah, in I'd be well. An elaborate that. bow marks this as a typically Victor and Rolf creation. Typically Victor and Rolf. The extra long slouchy sleeve. I actually really like the long sleeves on it. It makes it look really regal. And appearance in this panoply of gloom. <laughs> a majestic coat in an animal-friendly faux leather. There's a lot to feel angry is about. That? And this garment will communicate exactly that. Its striking volume and cone motif will impress and make you feel safe. The face mask, by the way, has won global acclaim as the smartest new accessory of the season. As the first display of ensembles is completed, the second group arrives, signaling our conflicting emotions these days. Oh. Sometimes up, then again down, social media's perplexing impulses put our stability at risk. Oh my god, I'm really sorry, but I do not like this dress at all. It is a piece of fabric wrapped around it with a sleeve, and then loads of emojis put onto it. What? I'm really not keen on this. No, no Victor and Rolf. You bring us from the banal to plain horror and back again, they leave us bewildered. And bewildered. Confusion oh already God. reigns at the shoulder line of this nightgown. Hesitant between covered and nude, this first look is a one-shouldered flowing affair so this is of the pale nightgown. pink synthetic wouldn't even wear it to bed because... The dress mm. is manically decorated with a polka dot motif of contradictory emojis, each symbolizing a state of mind. A maelstrom of emotions ingeniously crafted with insets of yellow... Okay, as well, can I just say that this voiceover is ridiculous. I've never had to explain my designs in this kind of way. It all just sounds like waffle and it just sounds unnecessary. And to be honest, this clothing so far is... Vile. Lace in delicate satin. I don't have a favorite. The fuzzy softness of this déshabillé is juxtaposed by the nervous I'm asymmetry nervous. of its design. I mean, Diagonal this one is a bit across the body. An shell of bows endeavors to soften the impact of muffled horror, muffled which is emphasized horror. by the listless colors. I mean, I love the color. I love pink. Oh! What is that? <laughs> Oh my god, this is ridiculous. No, I'm sorry, but this isn't fashion. This is just... It looks like something out to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I am not having this. No. An effect that is emphasized by the color clash of pinks and yellows. I think it's a silhouette clash as well, I mean. The next three ensembles radiate love for autumn winter 2020. okay. This floor-length free-flowing negligee is... Negligee again. Okay, so all of this stuff clearly is the nightwear. Stations are used to the opposite effect as before. Melancholy becomes serenity. Melancholy becomes change serenity. Change is necessary. If only we could change ourselves as easily as we do our outfits. If only we could change these outfits. Would My God. Love? Because love conquers all, n'est-ce pas? Here is a one-of-a-kind bathrobe. 
knowing that change is the only now this is quite nice i don't get the voiceover again no change is constant but whatever the actual nightgown is nice the cotton material has a way for relief I do the like a way for waffles and quilted satin and, uh, with braided edges uh, provide a charming texture detail. To a material. I think reminding it's us of what is most important in life. Hotel even. and safe. This déshabillé will make you feel like a princess at the ball. Mm. Finally, designed for a loving message, the stunning finale coat proudly features the heart symbol that shows unity. We all deserve to be loved, regardless of age, color, gender, race, religion, or sex. Now I like that statement. We do all Social deserve to be loved. Never felt but... so sweet in this white faux leather manteau. Adorned with dozens of glittering hearts. A fitting climax for this pageant of 2020 couture loveliness. These last creations we oh, leave you for now. Oh the world God. around us is changing rapidly. Nice. Whether apocalypse or new spiritual era. Hideous. You will continue to be able to step into the singular universe of spectacular beauty. Absolutely Unexpected ridiculous. elegance no. and spiritual glamour. A victor kind of like this. It's all right. What? Uh, no. No. No, thank you. Okay. Lovely. I like this one. It's nice. And this one is okay. I get it. Very nice. But still ridiculous. Okay, I'm a bit speechless because I don't know what to say about this collection. It's clearly made for people to talk and discuss. It's definitely a discussion point. Will people be wearing this? Probably not. But let's be honest, Victor and Rolf are really famous for their fragrances and perfumes. So I think this is a bit more of a statement kind of piece and showing the range just to show something. And that will hold up their fragrance a little bit more. Overall, I mean, the construction was really good. There were some really nice things in there. The sort of more haute couture kind of bathrobes were really nice. I could definitely see myself in that grey one. Hi. And the pink and canary yellow one was nice. However, it was a bit too extravagant. The white one with the hearts on was lovely. And I just thought that looked really, really elegant and chic. The heart coat, I get where they were coming from. I understand what they're trying to do. But again, no one's going to be wearing that unless it's kind of for... I don't know, a crazy red carpet event, or maybe it'd be a artist on stage and they're coming on, about to start singing, they've got the coat, you whip it off. Overall, the collection isn't wearable and obviously it is nightwear inspired with one jacket, but why would you be spending this kind of money, kind of money where pieces can be from anywhere 10,000 to 100,000 pound for these pieces that you'd just be wearing at home. It's just wasteful. Let me know what you thought of this collection in the comment section below. What was your favorite pieces? What were your favorite things to laugh at? I had quite a few laughs in it. And obviously it was quite a quick showing, which was quite nice. And if you like this kind of video, I've also got a few others. I've got one where I've spoke about Dior's Haute Couture collection. Click here and go and watch that one as well. And also I've done a reaction to Kylie Jenner's million dollar handbag wardrobe. So yeah, go and click on that button if you wanna go and see that. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'll leave all of my links here and also down below. And please, please, please also check out my Etsy shop where you can buy cads and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Tra, tra, tra. Bye.